Hey, what's up everybody, POA here. Uh, today we are actually, it's gonna be the channel's first. This is the first time I've ever opened a Core 19 box. This is gonna be fun. So we're actually gonna do a box break on it, which I'm participating in, because again, I've never opened this product and I'm like, I kinda wanna open some of this. So it was either kinda like, I'm just gonna either open up this whole box for myself, but there seemed to be some interest from people, and there definitely was, so let's do a box break, all right? Let's, let's go ahead and do an old fashioned, six packs person, what you get is what you get, Box break. So I'm gonna pop this thing open. I don't know everything in this set. Let me let me start off by saying that I uh, I know a lot of cards in this set, but I don't know all the cards in this set. So I might like not know something's a hit. That might happen. Just so you know. All right, I am going to shuffle up a little bit just to create more randomization. Okay. I like creating more randomization. I like not knowing what, what's gonna happen. You know, I'm trying to get rid of the track printing thing. Okay, that feels good. All right, squiggums, there we got. And just to be fair, I did say to everybody up front that I was going to participate. So I was very clear about that from the start. So I'm taking one of the spots for me. And everybody was like, that's cool. Kobe. All right, Buck. Hope you're doing better, Buck. Luke. Justin. And there's my six. Okay. Uh, there's not really a good rhyme or rhythm to a box break. So, you know, Squiggums, you're obviously you're on my left, and I always go left to right. So let's see what you get. There is one particular common in this product that is a really nice hit. It's a, it's a merfolk that's unblockable. You got a Reclamation Sage and an Uncommon. It's not a bad Uncommon. I know it's been reprinted a bunch, but either Tunnel, Aerial Engineer. Okay. And a Banefire for your first rare. And uh, I assume, you know, let's, let's do two. Let's do two at a time. Here comes the second pack. I assume this is another, yes, yeah, before the, the shiny era. Um, or booster fun era, whatever they want to call it. So foils should be limited and still awesome pulls. Okay. Hey, Poison Tip Archer. There's a nice hit. That's a nice uncommon. Like this set actually has some pretty good uncommon hits in it. That's one of them. There's that's is that another one? No, that's not. That's a Giant's Pride Mate. <laughs> no, that's not one of them. Not a bad card, but not not what we're talking about. Hey, Leonin War Leader. All right, our good. Uh, just because Banefire got reprinted, but we uh, Leonin War Leader is our first nice rare hit of the box, and you got a common Goblin Motivator foil. Yep. Back when foils still looked really, really good. What did they change? I know I've asked that before, but what did they change? Kobe, you're up. Like, yeah, these were printed in the USA. I don't know. They changed something. Dropping cards, but it was just a common. Okay, Kobe, here we go. You got yourself a Millstone. The Vigilant Belleth. Sift. And Chaos Wand, okay. Not a big hit, but cool card. And a Stone Quarry. Let's do your second pack. That's where it feels like a lot of what this is. Like, these boxes are not expensive. So that's part of it is, let's, let's do a cheaper box break. Like, we do a lot of collector's boxes on this channel, right? Let's do a cheaper one, where you can get some cool pulls. Gift of Paradise, Rupture Spire, I didn't know both of those were in here, but they are. That's fun. Knightly Valor. Arcadius the Strategist. Okay, we got Mythic number one. Oh, that's right. This one had the, the new cycle of the original Elder Dragons, right? Yeah. And Nico Bolas the Ravager is one of the big Mythic hits. And this is the next best one, if I, I believe right, because there's Chromium, Palladium Moors, and I can never remember the other one. <laughs> I can never remember. And you got a Thop Thop token. Okay, fuck. All right, we got a Dwindle, 
So there's probably four Mythics in here because this is the classic box design. There could be five, I assume, especially if there's a foil one. Probably four, though. Thud, Meteor Golem. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of solid, solid stuff there. Diagraph Ghoul. Gigantiosaurus. This card actually carries a couple bucks. I think it's hilarious. Five green mana, 10-10 ten, ten, uh, vanilla. That is just the, that is like the definition of big dumb green creature right there. It's kind of hilarious to me. <laughs> All right, number two. Double cast. Gutter Snape. Grave Digger. Crucible of Worlds Buck. There we go. One of the best Mythic Pools of the set, even after the Double Masters reprint. Awesome. Crucible of Worlds. And a Woodland Stream. Okay, that's two Mythics spoken for. That's nice. Good, 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 good. So it's always good to pull one of the best Mythic Pools you can get. All right, Luke. In Arca you know, Arcades is, is solid. Right? Nothing wrong with pulling Arcades. All right, Luke, here we go. We got an Arcane Encyclopedia. Exclusion Mage. Siege Breaker Giant. You know what? I'm going to call it right now. I'm going to guess that that common Merfolk is actually not in this product. It was in those stupid decks that went with it, right? Oh, boy. That's probably the case, isn't it? And Detection Tower. Okay. Solid rare. And an Exclusion Mage Foil. Not bad. All right, Luke, second pack. Well, I'm going to look for it. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I just started thinking about that. I'm like, oh, wait, there's just like the five Planeswalker Mythics, in which one of them is like the good version of Sarkon, or one of the two good versions of Sarkon anyway. Regal Bloodlord. Yeah, that's kind of expected to put out, but neat card. Herald of Faith. And Prodigious Growth. Okay. Recently, I built a uh, Thrun Breaker of Silence, otherwise known as Thrun Fighting Around the World deck. And, of course, that's in there. Justin! Hey, Stitcher Supplier! That's right, that's in this. Cool. Good Uncommon. Gargoyle Sentinel. Murder. Alpine Moon. Okay. Okay. Does anybody play with Alpine Moon and Commander? It does feel like it's not necessarily a Commander card. I could be wrong. Cool card, though. Definitely a cool effect. Oop. Can't hold on to things today. Alright, Justin. Make a stand. Okay. Not familiar with Make a Stand. I, I feel like I need a couple of those now. All right, Exclusion Mage, Siege Breaker Giant, and the Wind Reader Sphinx. Okay. Hey, Dragon Token. I'm sure that's a buck or two. Does that go with uh, Dracula Seth? All right, and me for two packs. Of course, my top one is Tezzeret. Makes sense. Rise from the Grave, Herald of Faith, Mirror Image, hey, Mirror Image, okay, that's cool. Hey, Transmagrifying Wand, I am probably more excited about that than I should be. <laughs> I know I know it's a cheap card, but, you know, it's, it's fun, <laughs> it's a fun card. Okay, let's go next. Manolith. Inferno Hellion. Druid of Horns. Colossal Majesty. That's a cool and common. 
an elvish clan caller. So another elf lord. And the meandering river. Okay, we're going to go back to squigs. So we got two mythic spoken for bolts so far. No foil rare found yet. Maybe a foil mythic, huh? Eh? Eh? Yeah, you hear me, Box? That would be fun. That's, let's do that. Shield Mare, Millstone. All right, Squigs. Dryad, Green Seeker. Demanding Dragon. Ah, it's so demanding. Right, let's do your next pack. And you heard a thud. Skilled animator. Hyromancer's cage. Dragon's horde, okay. Just sitting on a pile of awesome stuff. It's actually not terrible. <laughs> huh. Okay. I, honestly, I, as, I, as I'm reading that, I'm just like, I actually could probably use you as, and it would become a cheap card drawing engine. Huh. All right, um, Squigs, that was your two packs. Colby, we're on to you. Yeah. I recently built a green Stompy and, uh, well, green and red Stompy. And I really thought about throwing in Cost of Dread Mod just for the lulls. Oh, reset, reassembling skeleton. That's cool. Didn't know that was in this product. Apex of Power. Okay, there is another of the Mythics. And, and a foil Colossal Dread Mod. <laughs> you know what? We're just leaving it. We're just leaving it. Okay, there we go. It is sleeved. Colby, your next pack. Colby, is that two mythics for you? I think that's two mythics for you, isn't it? Yeah, Arcades and Apex of Power. So that's three mythics so far. <clears throat> okay, Reliquary Tower, Mirror Image. So Reliquary Tower, that's an awesome uncommon. Mirror Image, Skyrider Patrol, Death Baron. Okay, good zombie lord. All right, Buck, let's get into yours. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, it's starting to look like that that uh, that merfolk is, the reason why it's expensive is because it's in that deck. And it's not the first time that that kind of thing has gotten me fooled. Lena, selfless champion, okay. Not a bad little pool. All right, Buck, next pack. Hey, another Reliquary Tower. Oh, I was hoping one of those would make it to me, but that's probably it for the box. Okay, double cast. A Johnny's Pride Mate. And Spit Flame. All right, Luke. Just because Crucible Worlds is, is, is Crucible of Worlds, sorry, is a top hit so far. All right, Luke, let's do yours. <laughs> Judge Mom. I think it's funny that in this day and age, it's you know six mana, six six vanilla. It's just it's funny. Isareth the Awakener. I do not know you, and that is a lot of text. I'm gonna have to read you later. Okay, that is a foil rare. And it is a mentor of the meek. Well, it's a foil rare. <laughs> not, not, not quite what we were hoping to get. A card that recently was printed at Uncommon. But, but you know, hey, you can't always choose what you get, right? You can never choose actually what you get. What you get is what you get. Oh, Psychic Corrosion. There's a nice Uncommon. Rogue's Gloves. Knightly Valor. And Graveyard Marshal. Not a big hit, but that is cool. All right, Justin. If 
Fire refinish. A Johnny's welcome. There's a nice uncommon pull also. Very good. That's the one I thought I was going to comment on when then I was like, oh no, that's Pride Mate. That's not the card. Bugler. And one with the machine. Tezzeret just doing Tezzeret things. Okay, Infernal Hellion, Horns, Cage, Remorseful Cleric. What is this? Oh, okay, that sounds great. Well, I gotta love some graveyard hate. Eh? Alright, my turn. Dragon Egg. Egg is so wet. Uh, we got the Fountain of Renewal. It's so slow. Sleep, sleep. And Cleansing Nova. Which, of course, has been dramatically trumped as a choose your uh, adventure board wipe. Wow, that pack just did not want to open. Okay, we got a Gift of Paradise. Is that what I think it is? No, it's not. Brawl Bash Ogre. Surge Mare. And a Thorn Lieutenant. So I guess I'm getting uh, the rare elf cards here. Rabid Bite in Foil. Okay, last round. Squigs, you are up. Rupture Spire. Stitcher Supply. There we go. Heroic Reinforcements. Hey, Liliana's Contract. There's a solid rare. All right. We have still one more Mythic probably pending. Maybe two. Maybe two. Maybe, maybe we could luck out and get two. That would be great. All right, Squigs. Last pack. We got Shield Mirror. Sleep. Fell Specter. Gin of Wishes. Okay. And then that's going to be it. Put that Liliana's contract back on top. And straighten up some piles in a moment. Okay, great. Kobe, you're up. So Kobe's got two mythics so far. It would be cool if we pull also that goblin card that like allows you to blow up a goblin to destroy an artifact. That'd be fun. Vine Mirror, Blood Divination, Bugler, Patient Rebuilding. I don't know you. Uh, uh, okay. And a Gearsmith Prodigy. All right, last pack, Kobe. I think at this point I could guarantee uh, that's my... After my, my realization is true and, and that merfolk is not in here. Poison Tip Archer. Okay, our second one in the box. Oh, that would have went well with what I pulled. Oh, well. And Sarkon's Unsealing. Okay. Oh, God. I... Jeez. Uh, That's why I can't have nice things, folks. That's why I can't have nice things. Everything looks good. I caught it all with me. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. All right. I'm working too close today. Okay. Buck. Electrify. Oh, that's common. Aether Shield Artificer. Surge Mare. Heroic Reinforcements. And Valiant Knight. Okay, and last pack, of course you're coming home with the Crucible. <laughs> oh, Fibble Thip, someday it's going to be revealed that like you're some kind of super god, and we'll all laugh. Ogre, 
Mystic Archaeologist. Huh? Ooh, it's... Yeah, it's an expensive uh, draw. Well, draw two cards. Wow. All right, Luke. Okay, who's going to get the last Mythic? Don't short you. Don't short me, box. Don't you. Don't you short me. Dragon. Oh, sorry, Diamond Mare. Artificer. Declared Dominance. Magistrate Scepter. Okay. That seems super unfair with all the proliferation that's currently going on. That feels like a card ready to spike. Anyway. <clears throat> Dragon Egg. Horizon Scholar. Volcanic Dragon. The Amulet of Safekeeping. Okay. All right, Justin. And by the way, I didn't mean to go last. Uh, I did the randomizer, and that's what came up. Sage, Fell Specter, Belloth, Tazeret. Okay, so that is our fourth mythic of the box. Justin, next pack. Fountain of Renewal, Declared Dominance, another Reassembling Skeleton, nice pull, and the Demon of Catastrophes. That is a big, big boy, and a Foil Thud, which is actually probably not a bad little pull. And my last two. All right. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed going back to a set that is never opened by anybody out there anymore. I think it's fun especially since the box prices are, are not bad for what's inside. Hey, a make a stand, good, cool. Got one for me. Thirst, Seder Enchanter, there's another nice uncommon. And we got the Infernal Reckoning, Reckoning, sorry. Colorless, ah, okay. I pause and I'm like, why does that seem like an insane, insanely good removal? Oh, colorless only, okay, that's extremely specific. Either Tunnel, Rise in the Grave, last pack, here we go, Sift, come on, last pack. Vivian's Invocation. And, oh, we got our second Foil Rare. We got a Dismissive Pyromancer. All right, so we got two Foil Rares in that box. Okay, that's, a, that's an M19. I just kind of wanted to do one. I've never done one, and it feels like a good time to do one more than anything else. That if you don't do it now, um, it'll be too late frankly. So I, I thought that would be a good time. I hope everybody enjoyed some of the stuff that they got. I think there's definitely a lot of playables that went around out there. Yeah, uh, two, two of the Mythics were kind of a whiff, but when you look at the Mythic list, that's not that uncommon. Um, you know, when, when it's, 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 a, it's a top heavy Mythic list. So is M20 though, and M21. Thanks for watching. Bye.